Welcome back everybody to another Alfred Outlaws Random Builds video and today we will be going over the Frostbite Mud Truck which is actually the latest um, car show winner. Yeah that was the name I was looking for it. I was I actually built this one <laughs> like two or three hours after it came out possibly four hours after it came out I already had a video for this made. Then I go back, look at the video, notice that I forgot a few things, and the video is a little weird and funky. So I went ahead and applied the rest of the wraps that I forgot about, like this top one, a little bit in the back, and a little bit back here. Went ahead, went back in, and applied all those. And, well, here we are now, getting ready to making this video. And yes, this is also retuned compared to the other video. So, luckily I didn't change the tune and uh, for either one of the vehicles. And also, a little bit of an early peek at the new first truck that's coming later. This is uh, going to be a video as well. So, hope that it, it turned out pretty well. This was really the only video that didn't turn out as planned. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and get into the decals. So, basically what you did on this one is you... First things first is, uh, where is it? Oh yeah, it's in these wraps. It's, it's the wraps. So, you got like the rally wrap thing, and you put it back here. And to get it in the stance that it is, you use the up and down points to get it where it is. And that's how this person made that part. Then, also use the rust and sort of stretch it out. Uh, like, uh, what was it, like, scale, press down, move back up, then press scale again, then move down more until you get it where you want it. And then the white flames up here, and then you get the, uh, I'd say just the monster wrap or whatever you call it, right there on the side with the frostbite color. And then the blue flames up front. And now we can get on to decals. And you see the little racing flag on the side, which is sort of mirrored on both sides and got white and black, sort of like a shadow effect, somewhat. And then you also got the wolf in the back, which was a nice one. I like that touch. Basically, what you do is you upsize this one a little bit to where it isn't and it isn't small enough to be in the cent center one, but it's enough to be outlining it like a little outline and then you got frostbite up here on this part you got c10 in the back then you got the lightning bolt up here which also has sort of the same thing as the wolf except to, and the uh racing flag which all you do here is i got the white one then duplicated and moved the blue one into place a little bit just a little bit off center and made that. And then you also got the uh, flames on the side. The way you do that is you uh, make a blue one first. Then I duplicate, put a black one over it, and sort of move it in positions. Because if you have it black next to this, you're not going to know where it is. So that's one way to do that. And then you also got frostbite up here as well, which also, you can't mirror these. It just messes up the text on the other side. So you duplicate it and move it over. And then another little bit back here as well. Those These flames are the ones that I had to add to. Then the, uh, where is it? Right here. Right up here is uh, another little thing that I had to add. That I forgot. These flags as well. Everything on this was pretty easy compared to some builds. But the only reason I call it easy is because I've done this for a while, so I kind of know what wrap the person used. Also, if you're watching, good job, good build. You did a very good job. So, you see the tires, you see the rims. The rims are a metallic black, and then the beads are uh, chrome. And then there's nothing else in here, really, other than some of these you see the bed type the wood bed then you got the front bumper 
no fenders, a different rear bumper, no cage, the hood is taken off, and I am running out of breath. Whew. It's hard to talk sometimes. Just running through this. Don't think I, I didn't put any of those on there. I did put a winch. And the exhaust or the hood exhaust, the two one, two hood exhaust. This, I didn't know if it had one or not, so I just went and left it out. And then also the repair pack is just a little change. And anything else in this part? No, I don't think so. Now it's just over to like the upgrades. You got all the stuff here. Power, grip, weight, durability maxed. It's also been swapped to diesel. And of course, turbo. And like something I said in the video. You know how you had a cutout for this? Why not make like a cutout for the turbos? What would they look like? You know, like if you know who Ken Block is of Hoonigan and all that stuff. The way he has the turbo sticking out of the hood sometimes on some of his builds. Wouldn't that be pretty cool? I'm just thinking, really. Thinking of ideas. I'm bored, really. That's what I'm thinking of that. Don't ask me why. <laughs> okay, monster suspension. And axe width for front is... There's nothing. As low as you can go, it's 0, 0.00. Damping is 3,000... 485 shock size is 1.6 stiffness is 20,000 well no not 20,000 12,900 and travel is 80.86 same for the rear I think everything except for travel which travel is 0 0.90 and no rear steering that's about the only difference on that part Rim size is 1.1, wheel radius is 1.6, and wheel width is 1.4. Gear tuning, first gear is 3.1, second is 1.7, third is 1.1, fourth is 0 0.9, fifth is 0 0.8, and low gear is 2.4. It's kind of funny how I do all my gear tuning without even spending gold most of the time. I never really go truly crazy with them. And drop test, that's pretty good. What about VR test? One is my favorite for this. Does pretty good. Does really good, actually. Okay, let's go and get out of here. So, what else is there left? I think we'll only just go out and, like, drive this around. Because I've already done the uh, time challenge. Hmm, what should I do? Okay, here we are, and well, let's go ahead and get started straight away. Three, two, one, go. Come on, uh, Frostbite Mud Truck, you can do this. Yeah, let's go, let's go. I'm going to keep uh, diff lock on through this point. Dodge that checkpoint right there. Get up here at least decently quick. Go ahead, take off diff lock. Start slowing down for this point. Come on, my trick. This is actually decently fast.
Come on, go, 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 go. Okay, just approaching two minutes. I'm not taking this one lightly. I'm actually driving this one pretty hard. Doing this one as fast as I can. And stop. Ooh, not a bad time. Not a bad time at all. Three minutes, 30 seconds. Wow. There's definitely a few parts I could have improved in, but to be honest, that, I ran that one pretty hard. Three minutes, 30 seconds, taking off some of the lag. That would only bring it down to around 3 minutes 27 seconds because there wasn't that much, but there still was a little. Okay, 3 minutes 27 seconds is our time for the Frostbite Mud Truck. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I had a very fun time making it. It was fun to get a good time on the uh, time challenge as well. And this truck overall is just awesome. It's cool to have the Frostbite name in the car show. I mean, I, I've i been known for Frostbite, the Mustang, the Doomsday Cuda, and most of my car show builds. Mainly Frostbite, I think. I'm not sure. It's either, I think it's the, um, what you would call it, the uh, Drag Camaro is the one that I'm best known for. But I hope you all enjoyed the build, and I'll see you next time, Wolf Army. Have a great and safe rest of your day, and peace out.